opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good morning. Welcome to Expat Insights. I am your host, Raju Mandhiyan. Here at Expat Insights, we take external and objective views of internal successes by foreigners, expats, and immigrants who have made Philippines their home and are doing good either in business or society. This morning, we have a very special guest from Australia. This gentleman, this young and handsome gentleman, has come up with a very creative business idea and something I wanted to explore. He's bringing in Australian tourists all the way from Australia to the Philippines to look at our chocolate hill, to go to the hidden caves and climb the mountains of Philippines and also get their teeth done. So it's about dental tourism and our guest today is from Perth, yes, Warren Napier. He's married to a young Filipina, July Napier, who's watching the show. Welcome to Expat Insights. Thank you. Warren. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So tell us a bit about yourself to start with. Okay, um, as you know, obviously I'm from Perth, Australia. Okay. Uh, um, I came up with the idea, uh, I'm married to a Filipino and I right. wanted to, to live here in the Philippines. Right. Um, <coughs> I explored other options and it's very hard for foreigners to get employed in, in here in the Philippines. Okay. <coughs> uh, after having my dental treatment done and family and friends, I thought, why not? Why not put a package together, mm -hmm. incorporate people to have a holiday, save some money, spend some money here, and have a good time. Oh, at it's the a, it's end of the day, have their dental. It's right. a very creative idea. I've never heard people, uh, I'm going to go for a holiday, and I'll come back looking good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And uh, why the name Kanga Dental? What's the connection? Kangaroo? Yes, I wanted to come up with a name that would incorporated both the Philippines and Australia. Mm -hmm. Kanga being short for kangaroo, Phil being short for yeah. Philippines. Yeah. Not us, not us Philippines or Philos no, no. Dentals, nothing. Just pure kangaroo Phil Dental Holiday. And your logo is a kangaroo. Yes, only hop, skip and jump away. Only a hop, skip and jump away. So how is it doing, uh, this business setup of yours? It's, it's doing quite well at the moment. We are looking to expand. Um, I've had about 20 guests come up since, since March. Right. Um, and we are expanding as we're talking. Um, so and W what parts of the country have you taken them around to? What, which of the beauty spots in the Philippines have they seen and experienced? Okay, basically they like to go out to not too far away places, Tagatay, mm -hmm. um, places like that. Um, they're only here for 10 days, mainly. Yeah. Um, they're here to get their you know, den dental treatment done. Right. And whatever time they can fit in, they call us and we organize wherever they'd like to go. Yeah, so uh, what is the potential of the business? I mean, <coughs> you s it's been six months? Yes. Six months, and uh, what is the future potential? How far do you think will it grow? How many uh, Australian tourists will hop, skip, and jump to the fifth peak? Yes, a lot, of, lot of, uh, a lot of tourists are taking the opportunity. Yeah. Um, it's not, the Philippines and Australia is not very well advertised. Um, what do you mean? The, both the countries are not very well advertised, or your in, business? In brochures. The Philippines, like uh, you oh. Bali, Thailand, you haven't really got the Philippines. It's hard. Oh, is it, is, it, is it true? You're saying that the Department of Tourism has not focused on Australia correct. as much as Indonesia and others have done? Correct, correct. Okay. And uh, the Philippines is the hidden treasure. It's, it's, uh, you've got fantastic uh, food. Yeah. You've got beautiful places. Yeah. People are friendly. Yeah. Um, and uh, so why not incorporate it? And that's what people are finding. Mm -hmm. um, they're coming here to the Philippines, mm -hmm. they're returning. So what's the potential? How much can this business that you've created, and you've done about 20 tourists, how far can it grow? How big can it? Uh, oh, it can grow. Um, it's got the potential to, to grow big. What I would prefer to do in the, uh, we've got plans 
to uh, actually buy into a, a dentist clinic. Yeah. Um, have the dentist yeah. working for Kangapil, having the name of the clinic, Kangapil Dental Clinic. Oh, you want to create your own, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So uh, that's, that's in the future. So currently with these 20 or so tourists that have come in, uh, where did you bring them to any certified dentist, qualified dentist? Where did you go? Just like that? Yes, we use um, a very good qualified dentist, her name's Anne, mm -hmm. um, St. Jude's Medical Clinic. Mm -hmm. um, fantastic work. Mm -hmm. So what, what is the value you're providing? Of course, there's fun and there's teeth knitting, but where is the differential between Australia and Philippines? I mean, why don't Australians choose to have their teeth done and go to, uh, what is it called, the Queensland Highway and lo go look at the Seven Apostles? Why Philippines? What's the gap? What, what value are you providing? <coughs> well, the Philippines, have, as I said, uh, Australians like to, to travel, mm -hmm. rather than travel in their own country when it's too mm -hmm. expensive. Um, now, in terms of financial uh, gains for them, how big is it? How good is it? For them? For yeah, the, for for the tourists, yeah, yeah. For the tourists, it's, it's <coughs> financial gains. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, for one, they're saving uh, a lot of money getting their treatment done here. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, they can spend, spend their money as well, and they're still saving. Oh, so, uh, so they're saving a lot by coming here to the Philippines at the same time spending. So are you saying that uh, it still becomes worthwhile instead of having their teeth done or dentist fashions, you know, all the beautiful work done, it still becomes worthwhile to them financially to travel, have fun, and still have their teeth Absolutely. fixed? Oh my God, so that's how they're huge saving, the differential is. They're saving on average 50%. Oh my God, that's They're getting wild. a holiday, yeah. they're yeah. having fun, mm -hmm. they're getting their dental treatment done, mm -hmm. cost, and it's saving them 50% of what it would in Australia. How, uh, I'm not sure about the dental uh, security plans or medical plans or dental plans in Australia. Don't Australians get social service and is it part of the package? Can you not for cosmetic. Uh, not for cosmetic. Not for dentistry. cosmetic. And okay. a lot of Australians have got bad teeth simply because they cannot afford to... Uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> oh, true. Because they, cannot, they simply cannot afford to, to go in a dentist chair in, in Australia. Oh, wow, wow. So, this is why they're taking the opportunity. A lot of people actually are looking at going to Indonesia, Thailand to get their dental treatment done. Mm -hmm. What I'm providing is a package. Mm. I'm providing them that they, they have fun. We give them places of interest where they can go. They can, uh, they can see the Philippines. Mm -hmm. At the same time, they're saving, but they're also spending it here in the, uh, in the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, Warren, my understanding of what uh, the Department of Tourism is doing in the Philippines, no? And they're really promoting Philippines a lot because with the new campaign, it's more fun in the Philippines. They're going all out to India, to other Asian countries, and maybe also to Europe, no? Uh, I believe that they might be providing some kind of incentives. Are you getting some kind of incentives to promote Philippines? Is there an option for it? No, there's an option. Yeah. I'm going to look at that option with the... Um, tourism mm -hmm. in the Philippines. Uh, I haven't explored that option as yet. Yeah, because I understand for hotels and for lodging places or tourism packages, there's a lot of incentives coming from the government. Maybe you want to consider that something. Yes. How about Australia? Do you get any kind of uh, incentives from the Australian government? No, not a, not Nothing, so it's uh, private business. Yes. So where do you plan to take this in the future? What do you plan? How do you plan to expand this? Well, we're actually looking at uh, expanding into cosmetic uh, medical. Mm -hmm. um, also, I would like to eventually open up a uh, food chain. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Under, okay. Under the umbrella. That makes sense. You know, you you know I mean, get your feet done. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> go to chocolate, eat high more chocolate. That's it. So, yeah. uh, I think with the, with the name, you provide good service, you provide quality, yeah. uh, the customer is going to keep coming. Ah, so you, you're planning to expand and diversify into yes. food too, no? Yes. Now, uh, how good is it for you to work with Filipino dentists and Filipino managers? I'm sure you Very, are. very good. Yeah? Very, Would very you easy. Cite, uh, cite an example of success and how happy you are doing this? Yes, oh, absolutely. Um, the people, as I said, very friendly, very easy going. Mm -hmm. um, do anything. sense. I love it. You love it. Okay, okay, all right. 
So uh, do you want to invite the guests, uh, invite our, two, uh, our watchers, our Australian guests of yours, tell them what you're doing. You want to announce it, maybe? Sure. Um, come on a holiday with Kangaroo Phil, have some fun. Here in the Philippines, yeah. you're going to have so you're going to have a great time. Absolutely. Right, right, right. So food, dentals, and the things. So you'll put up your own conga dental. Uh, uh, if in the future, I'm sure you're married. You're right now married to a lovely Filipina, no? Yes. Uh, how far do you see yourself living and growing in this country? How far do you see yourself becoming a part of this lovely culture? I have no plans to go back to Australia. You have no plans to go uh, other than a holiday, but. Um, I, pl I plan to, to, to live here. You plan to live here for, for life. Long, for life. Yeah. So you'll have Australian Philippines. Conga Dental Kids. That's right. You'll have Conga <laughs> Phil Kids, no? Correct. And uh, tell us a bit about July, your lovely wife. Uh, where is she from? And uh, how does she... She's from... How does Australia. she like being married to an Aussie? <laughs> oh, you'd have to ask her that. Okay, she you, she uh, says yeah. I'm pretty crazy, and that's true. Yeah. Um, but no, she's. I met her in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we just took it from there. And now I'm expecting my first lady with her. Wow, 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 wow. Four months pregnant. Yes. So what's, what's a day in the life of an Australian dental tourist person in a Filipino home? How, is it, how does it go here? What's the culture there? What kind of food yeah. do you eat? Steak, adobo, pata? I, <laughs> I eat Filipino food. How oh, you like it? I yeah. love Filipino What's your most favorite Filipino food? Uh, I love crispy pata. <laughs> I don't like crispy pata. <laughs> No, seriously, I love it. Do you really like yes. it? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, how about Filipino sweets? So that they can uh, mess up your teeth and you can get them fixed again. Yes, but I'm, not a, I'm not a sweet person. So. Oh, you're not a sweet <laughs> person. So, uh, your favorite place. You've been here for a year and you have a lovely wife. What's your favorite place in the Philippines for a holiday? You, personally, where would you go? Me, personally? Yeah. I love Tagatai. Oh, that's just that's a hop, skip and a jump away. Oh, okay, that's something, right. Something, something more dangerous, yes. something more uh, outgoing. Oh. I mean, there, will, there are places around, but I do love Tagatai. Have, Have, Have you been to Sagada? Not yet. Have you been to the underwater river in Palawan? Not yet. You My wife take, is going to take me there. You're no. going to take the Australians up there and make them disappear underwater. Yes. It's really beautiful. How about the rice terraces? How about the place where there are whales? What do you call, what do you call them? The whales, watching. the dolphins? Tamsur. Yeah, that's beautiful, they say. And of course, I don't want to talk about Boracay because the Department of Tourism says don't promote Boracay anymore. Right. <laughs> so, Warren, it's been a pleasure having you on Expat Insights. And if Thank there's you anything much. you want to tell us about this creative business of yours, uh, this is your moment. Um, share it, declare it. It's a creative idea, I think. And I think many people should follow your lead. All I can say is uh, to the people back there in Australia, come on. Have some fun. Get your dental treatment done. You're going to be absolutely amazed at this place. The people are beautiful. The food is fantastic. The culture is amazing. You have to come. Okay. And we'll look after you. Well, Kanga Dental, huh? All right. So thank you very much, no Nate. Nate, pleasure having thank you on this Thank right. you very much. All right. So that, ladies and gentlemen, was my first guest, Mr. Warren Napier, who has built this beautiful business called Kanga Dental. So when you go with him, you'll see a kangaroo and get your teeth fixed at the same time. So uh, we'll come back and we'll talk to a friend of mine, Sir Jerry Plana from Investors in People. It's, it's uh, an institute from Europe and he's going to tell us about what that is. And Jerry Plana is uh, president of PMAP, which is Personal Management Association of the Philippines. So stay watching Expat Insights. I'm your host, Rajan Man here.